I'm on my way back home from spending a day um, on the Northern Olympic Peninsula and visiting Port Townsend for a little while. So I thought I'd shoot a vlog to kill some of the time. I actually like to talk a little bit about something that's been on my mind a little bit lately. And for those of you that don't know me too well or haven't followed me that much, I am single. I'm always, I swear, I'm perpetually single. Unless I'm in one of the very few relationships I've been in that tend to start off really well and then, like, crash and burn quite quickly. No, but, um, I'm quite single, and lately I've been thinking about how nice it would be to actually, you know, date someone, or just possibly date in general. Because I am not the best at getting dates. I'm currently trying a couple different online dating sites, and I haven't been very successful at it. And I'm not quite sure why. But it seems that there just really aren't that many, there's not that many, or really hardly anyone interested in me. As that uh, is very hard to actually find someone that is interesting and compatible with you. Even more so when you're not really uber socially outward person, like I'm not. I'm usually quite shy. And to complicate some of it even more, I'm even more shy and very uncomfortable around other gay people, especially gay guys, which, you know, definitely complicates the trying to date aspect of my life, because I, I really don't go out anywhere where I'm really going to meet anyone because I'm so shy and just downright uncomfortable with it. So it leaves me with the online dating, which I'm not particularly successful at. Either I'm not putting the right things in my profile, which is a possibility, I don't know. I just th I personally hope that I've got the right things in my profile, but you never know. Between that and uh, the area I live in seems to create a little bit of issues. For some reason it seems to be only quite young people who are actually about my age, but they're all in the college, so they're passing through or only looking for friends or a friends with benefit type relationship and not an actual real long term relationship. Or they're quite a bit older than me to the point where they're basically my parents' age. And again, it's not the what I'm looking for. It winds up being that sort of really odd, awkward dynamic is actually quite disappointing. Because when I go online, I look for people to date. It seems that the majority of the real potential dates all live further south, south of me down in Seattle. I don't want to move to Seattle. It's not my kind of place. I'm not a big city guy. I'm much more comfortable in the small city I live in, and to be perfectly honest, I'm a lot more of a 
suburban boy than a city boy. It's just, I'm much more at home in your average suburban setting. But it seems to be another downfall for dating. Which I really don't understand. Why is it that you, know, you have to live in a big city and be a big city person who's into the hustle and bustle and the going out to the bars and the clubs and everything else in order to date successfully. And I still hold out quite a bit of hope that I'll actually find someone, you know what they say, you find the person you least expect to, but currently basically sitting back and waiting for them to come to me is not working as a, a viable option. They really aren't coming to me. They seem to have quite a bit of a potential date repellent. Not to mention that I have probably got the worst gaydar of almost any person that I know, to the point that I have trouble figuring out sometimes if someone's gay or they're straight, so I'll wind up getting crushes on straight people I think are gay until I find out they're and we have no interest in the apparently gay people. I don't know why. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Sometimes I wonder if it's some sort of weird, cruel joke. That the people I think are flirting with me actually aren't. And the people that might be, I just pick up on it that well. And I'm honestly not quite sure why it works out that way. But definitely I do think is one of the larger issues that's quite unhelpful is my discomfort around other uh, gay guys. I, mean, I even get extremely uncomfortable when I go on dates. It's like, it's, it's exciting. I, I want to go on the date, but I get really uncomfortable and paranoid about it. Not in the way that, oh, it's like you're going on a date, but, oh my goodness, this is right on the emotional, physical level, but it's like this odd feeling that it just isn't right. Even though I don't Logically, there's nothing wrong with it. It still feels like you're doing something very wrong. It probably sounds absolutely bonkers, but that is how it feels. The best way to describe it is it's not like it's bad in an unnatural way or in the way that you're not supposed to be doing that because it's not how you are. It, it's almost bad in a way. It's, it's like it's filthy, it's dirty, it's not right. Almost, you know, like stealing is bad. It, it, it's like that. It's like that sort of bad. And I know that makes absolutely no sense at all, but that's sort of how it is. It's like, it feels as if you're going to be doing something like stealing or, or, or something like that. It just doesn't make sense. And it, it feels like that even when you go on a date. Which uh, doesn't help things. Uh, that's just a sort of normal going on a date jitters and then feeling like you're doing something really bad. 
it makes for, for being very uncomfortable. And I honestly don't quite understand where that comes from. But it doesn't help relationships, because uh, during them it makes you feel bad. And especially, like, public shows of addiction are acknowledging that you're actually, you know, dating that person and more than just friends. That feels very wrong, it feels very, very uncomfortable. Um, no, and then there's... It just feels like it's something that is akin to stealing, to murdering, to doing something very horrible. <laughs> Actually makes relationships feel really bad even though they feel good at the same time to the point where it starts to sabotage the relationships themselves um yeah but I don't I don't quite understand where it comes from or what to do about it so if really any advice you all have would be great um that's it bye